I'm back with another video and today, today's a big day. It is just after eight o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, April 1st. Happy April, everyone. I know we are all just so excited that March is over, um, but it is just after eight o'clock in the morning. I have makeup on, my hair is done. Um, my scrunchie is from me, obviously, hair and bow. Um, earrings from Lemon Drop Local, the cutest earrings in the world. And I'm wearing, I'm wearing like an outfit. I've got jeans on, which if you work from home, jeans, like who does that? Um, we made it through, it's officially, I wanna say we're going on, this is week three. Um, no, week three? Week two or week three of social distancing, staying at home, keeping busy. And I thought that this morning, if I got ready, if I put some makeup on, if I set the camera up and I filmed a full day of eating, that that'd be a great way to socialize with other humans, but a camera for now, but eventually humans, um, on YouTube. So I'm gonna film a full day of eating today. Haven't eaten anything, haven't drank anything except for some quality H2O. I need to make myself a coffee. Um, I normally don't eat breakfast, so I'm not going to be eating breakfast right away, but I do have a smoothie in the fridge. Um, every morning when Marshall goes to work, I wake up, I make a smoothie for us, but I don't drink mine until later. So I will make myself a coffee. If you see in the background of this video, this is my baby. This is my Nespresso machine. My magical husband and my mother-in-law got me my Nespresso machine for my birthday this year and they just know me so well. So I'm going to make an espresso, I'm going to make some frothed milk, I'm going to get my smoothie and then I need to start some work. So um, my office is in the corner of our living room area. I'll probably set the camera up in a few. Caesar, my cat's doing, doing his thing this morning, playing in a box. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I'm gonna speed through that part and then I'll come back and I'll let you know what's in the coffee. Hopefully also today I'm going to be sharing a few of my tips and tricks of how I've been keeping well during this time. Um, I've been finding there's been a few things each day that have stayed pretty consistent that have helped me um, to stay productive and stay motivated throughout the day while I'm working from home. Again, I've said this in previous videos, I worked from home for quite a few years. Um, but not full time and so now that it is full time it feels a little different because before I could go into the office and I could switch up my productivity if I was needing other human beings to collaborate with and work with I could now that's not an option so um, I'll share a few tips and tricks with you throughout the day the first tip and trick tip or trick or it's a tip it's a tip from me get ready get dressed do your hair, do your makeup, even have a shower. If you don't want to do your makeup in your hair, that's fine. But shower, put on different clothes, get yourself in the working mood. And today, jeans. Jeans won. Um, however, I'm just going to say it here as a disclaimer. The jeans may get swapped out for something else throughout the day because my, uh, my uterus is, is doing some things today. So... I don't think I need to go too much more into that, but I'm, I'm having some, some stomach pains today and I think the jeans are doing okay for now, but they might not, they might not work all day. So TMI. Anyways, I'm going to make myself a coffee and, uh, I'm going to make myself a coffee. Mm. Another tip, drink lots of water. Cause then the more of water you drink, the more you have to get up to go pee. And then that's more movement that you're going to get in your day and less sitting on your butt. So get up get dressed and drink water. I don't know about anybody else, but choosing a mug for me in the morning, choosing a mug for me is a really big deal. Um, it really is, it really sets the tone for me on how my day is gonna be. And today, this is the mug that I chose. This is a winner's number. Um, actually, winners are home sense, I'm not sure. Great mugs, great mugs. So I'm going to, this is my mug of choice today. This is, this is gonna bring me great joy today. There's another tip for the day. Just dance, dance and have fun. Oh boy, <laughs> this is seven minutes long already. Oopsies. That looks good. And then I just add like a little tiny splash of this stuff. Just like that much. 
And now we make the coffee. So here's the smoothie. It's just in the fridge. Give it a stir. Um, protein powder, uh, ice, water, um, mango, strawberry, berry mix, and frozen avocado. So unfortunately, I have been testing different milks or milk alternatives in the frother, and I'm very disappointed in the froth level of the cashew milk, but that's okay. Maybe I'll have a second coffee today so that it redeems itself. Mm -mm -mm. Still tastes good. Okay, so I'm gonna go start work for the day. I'm gonna drink my coffee, I'm gonna drink my smoothie, and then I will be back the next time that I eat or drink something. Um, I did make cinnamon buns over the weekend, and we have a few cinnamon buns left. So I might have to have a cinnamon bun for a morning snack, but for now, coffee is the only thing I need in my life. Um, excuse you. Okay, um, confession time. I changed out of my jeans already, but I'm wearing like, still kind of like dressy, business casual pants. Um, really successful morning so far at work. It is almost 12 o'clock noon and coffee is gone, smoothie is gone. And I'm gonna have some tea, um, peppermint vanilla. I've got a phone call, excuse me, I've got a phone call in like 10 minutes. So I gotta hurry. Favorite tea mug, size of my head. Um, peppermint tea is my all-time favorite. I could drink peppermint tea all day long every day and I actually sometimes think about taking some time off coffee. Um, I go back and forth. I love a cup of coffee in the morning, but sometimes it just tastes different. Um, but I can never get sick of tea. Also, sneakily just heated up a really ugly looking cinnamon bun. It was like the end of the cinnamon bun roll, like right at the end, so it's super small. Um, so I just heated that up in the microwave. I'm gonna have a little sneaky snack before um, my phone call. I have one meeting and then another meeting back to back, and then I'll be back to get some lunch. But it's been a very successful day so far. Had a little hard time getting into things first thing this morning, um, but I put some tunes on, got in the zone. Um, and another tip, for working from home and staying productive is taking scheduled breaks. Um, so this is a scheduled break for me. I kind of had like a solid three hours this morning to kind of zoom through some stuff. And then I'm taking like a 10 to 15 minute break to get a cup of tea, clean up from my coffee and my smoothie this morning, make my cinnamon bun snack, and then I'll be back at it for a few hours and then I'll take a, a little bit of a longer break for lunch. So I'm gonna go drink my tea have my cinnamon bun, and I'll be I'll be back soon. Je jeans didn't last that long, I have to admit. Um, yeah, also the peppermint tea is helping with my cramps that are happening a lot today. So, hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I realize this isn't live where my day is progressing, progressing at the same time as your day, but um, anyways, distractions are continual here. So I'm gonna go eat my cinnamon bun and I'll talk to you guys, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, lunch time from the comfy couch. Um, it's now been some time since I last checked in. Cinnamon bun was delicious, although a little dried out, I have to admit. Um, I made them on Saturday morning and it's Wednesday today, so I'm glad that that was one of the last ones. Um, for lunch, I prepped this on Sunday night. It is something you probably can't see. Um, basically, here, let me just, let me just give you a little, little food action here. Basically, what I did was I took some potatoes, I cut them up into like coins or whatever you want to call those medallions, layered them along the bottom of a casserole dish. The bowl is very hot right now, which is why I'm holding it like this. Um, laid it out on the bottom of a casserole dish and then made like a side mixture with ground beef, um, some frozen vegetables, carrots and peas, and a can of golden mushroom soup, which I believe is a mix between tomato and mushroom soup, um, and then some spices and 
stuff like that. So it's basically like a layered potato. One would say that it would almost be a version of a shepherd's pie, but instead of the mashed potatoes, it's just a like medallion style potato. Anyways, you didn't need, it, it, it's not that deep. You didn't need that much information. Um, I'm gonna be eating my lunch, drinking some more water. Um, and I was also thinking about giving you another tip, um, another tip for surviving a day of self-isolation or of social distancing. And that is starting and ending your day with some fresh air. Uh, I have been finding it extremely helpful getting up first thing in the morning, going outside, like literally pajamas, add sweatpants over top and a hoodie, put a jacket on and then go outside and get some fresh air. Um, it's just a really nice way to signal the beginning and the end of a work day when you don't leave the house to go to work. <laughs> so um, waking up in the morning, going outside, getting some fresh air, coming home, getting ready, starting your day. And then at the end of the work day, going outside, going for a walk. And then when you come home, you don't work again. I've, I've made the mistake where I go back to work because I'm just like, oh, I'll finish up a few more things. But the point of leaving leaving work at the end of the day, going outside, going for a walk, and then coming back is that you're telling yourself, you're signaling it's the end of the work day, and then you come home and you do life things and not work things. So that's going to be um, something that's really important to me over the next little while, starting and ending my day with some fresh air. Um, and it doesn't need to be much, like even if it's like a 10 or 15 minute walk, um, just to get outside, get some fresh air, and stay six feet away from people. Um, so I'm gonna eat my lunch. I have a few more meetings this afternoon and then I will probably check back in with you this afternoon. Just got an email. Um, I'll probably check back in with you this afternoon when I have a little maybe afternoon iced coffee or a little snacky time. Um, around like two or three o'clock in the afternoon I normally get a little snacky. So um, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm gonna go eat my lunch because I think it's now a, a bearable temperature. It's pretty tasty. Um, Obviously didn't follow a recipe because who would I be following a recipe for something? Um, yeah, okay, lunch time. <sighs> okay, everyone, this is location number two for me in my afternoons. Um, I whip out my lap desk some afternoons. I have a little bit more hot water in my tea. And then um, I just sat up on the couch for a little bit to switch up the space a little bit. Um, this lap desk is like my favorite thing in the entire world and it's the perfect situation to sit on the couch and to be working but to be comfortable. So um, yeah, I put a little bit more hot water into my tea and done meetings for the afternoon so I don't have any more phone calls or anything. Um, a few more things that I need to get through and I also have four mini eggs that I'm gonna snack on. Um, don't feel like a coffee yet this afternoon, so I'm not gonna have that, um, but I might make one a little bit later, I'm not sure. I did, however, take out um, a pack of frozen chicken thighs because I do need to make something for supper tonight. In a normal week before all this happened, um, I would prep two meals on Sunday, one batch of meals for lunches and one batch of meals for suppers. Um, but because we're home all the time and we're trying to use up as much as we have from our fridge and our pantry and our freezer before we go grocery shopping again, we've kind of been doing, like, we still batch prep our lunches, but then our suppers are usually just, like, thrown together. So I had some freezer chicken, freezer chicken? I had some chicken in the freezer, and then we have some cans of coconut milk, and I think I might make a little bit of a curry. So... I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to include in this video because I don't want this video to be 9,000 minutes long because I talk forever, but um, that is going to be what's gonna be for supper tonight. So I took chicken out and I'll have to throw that together at some point, but I just wanted to pop in, let you know that I'm having a little bit of a chocolate snack this afternoon. And this is gonna bring us to our last tip of the day. Working from home in this new environment is switching up your environment. So we live in a condo. This is our one living space aside from our bedroom and I'm not going to work in our bedroom. Um, and so I spend the majority of the day at my desk um, looking out the window, enjoying the sunshine, but I normally like to switch up in the afternoon where I'm sitting. Sometimes I do go and sit up at our island, um, but it's not as comfortable as the couch, obviously. So I usually wait until the afternoon because that's when I really get into like what I would call my deep work. 
um, from 2 o'clock in the afternoon until like 4 or 4.30 is when I probably diesel through most of my work. Um, our team is across Canada and so my manager who lives in Newfoundland is done work by the time it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and then half of our team is in Manitoba and it's an hour later there and so the late afternoons are usually when I have the least amount of traffic happening in my email inbox. So I'm going to buckle down, I've got some more tea and I've got some tasks that I'm ready to get finished um, and I'll check back in with you when I eat next. And now I get to go eat my mini eggs. Okay, you know that it was a successful afternoon when the last time I talked to you I had put new hot water in my tea and I didn't even drink it. Um, it is now 4.20 and I was dialed, <laughs> dialed into my laptop for the last few hours. So I am going to call it a day for work. Um, and I know that I need to call it a day when I realize that I haven't moved in a while. So I think the last time I checked in with you guys, it was just after, what time was it? just after 1.30. Anyways, I've been in a time warp. So um, Marshall's gonna be coming home from work in the next little while and we're actually gonna be filming a very fun taste test video. So you'll have to stay tuned to the channel. I don't know which one of these videos is gonna go up first. Um, but I think I'm gonna make myself a coffee, a little pick me up. Um, I'm gonna make a decaf coffee. It's gonna be iced. So I'll keep you in the loop. Um, introducing instant coffee since my cloud coffee video has been life-changing I love iced coffee and having instant coffee to mix with a little bit of hot water thanks for the hot tip Cass um, and then like diluting it with regular water and then adding whatever else you want it's, it's been perfect so I'm going to make myself a cup of decaf coffee then I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna get the fresh air that I've been talking about. Marshall and I are gonna film that video. I still need to make supper. There's a lot to do before the night is over. So I'm going to show you my coffee. I'll do that and then I need to go get some other stuff done. So I'm going to take a jar. I'm going to have a straw. And, and then what I do is I just take a little bit of the instant coffee. I'm going to do half of a tablespoon of instant coffee. Is that? Yeah, that's good. We'll do half of a tablespoon. And then I'm boiling some hot water and then I'll just add that and then I'll dilute it with the rest of water and then add some milk on top. And you don't really need the water to be boiling hot. You just need it hot enough to uh, dissolve, the, dissolve the instant coffee. Give that a little stir. Perfect. Some ice. And because you're mixing it with cold water, you don't really need to add too much ice. And then I just make sure that the color of the coffee is like, what a nice coffee would look like. Got a good bite. Um, I am gonna add a little bit of vanilla. And then, call me crazy, but I like adding a little bit of salt to my coffee. Um, I was gonna do a foam, like to add a cold foam. Ah, you know what? <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's do a cold foam. That is a beautiful thing about this Nespresso frother is you can actually use it for cold foam. So. I will do that. Um, I should have added the vanilla to that, but that's okay. So this is what I like to call a salted maple cold foam. Um, so we're gonna take cashew milk unsweetened vanilla. I know I just opened another one of these this morning, but that one was sweetened. This one is not. 
Um, so you're gonna fill it up to like half the cold line. And we do just a little drizzle of maple syrup. And then I just do a little bit of salt. And then I like to foam that up, but I, uh, you know what, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this stuff. There we go. Let's see. Crazy to believe that that day went by so fast. Um, crazy. I hope your days went by fast. I know sometimes it's really hard when you're at home or if you are distracted, like sometimes I find myself getting really distracted, um, but today was a good focus day. Um, just waiting for that blue light to go off in the background. Can you tell I'm impatient? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? You have to say please. No, that's, it's not please. Okay. And now we add. I'm gonna go and enjoy this. I'm gonna feed my flipping cats so that they stop scaling things they shouldn't be scaling. Um, and I'll touch base with you guys when I decide what supper is going to be. Hey, bye. Okay, it really hasn't been that long since I was like, hey, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have hardly even drank some of my iced coffee. Um, but I fed the cats, so they are now chonking down. Um, but I figured out what I'm going to do for supper. So I mentioned that I had chicken thawing. And I think I'm going to do a curry, and now I know I'm going to do a curry. Um, I found rice in our pantry. I found some mushroom broth and some coconut milk and some tomato paste. I had a little bit of an onion left. So I'm going to use our um, Dutch oven, and I'm going to fry the onion with um, some oil and then add in garlic and curry seasonings like garam masala and turmeric and curry powder and ginger and all of the above. Um, and then I will figure out a way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it all at once. Is this a bad idea? Probably. Am I gonna do it anyways? Yes. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna cook the rice and the chicken in the oven, in the Dutch oven at the same time. I see a problem with it, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, you always try something once. So um, I will probably not show you any more cooking because I know that this video is already going to be quite long, um, but I've explained to you my concept and then I guess the next time I check in with you will be like, did I F it up? Mess it up. Screw it up. Okay. I'll talk to you guys soon. Time for me to drink coffee. Oh, also the concept is that once I prep the food, then I'm going to go for the walk while it cooks in the oven, and then I'll come back and then we can eat supper. Okay, bye. Update. It's pretty cold outside. I uh, just got back from my walk. I walked for like, how long was I gone for, Marshall? I don't know. 45 minutes? Maybe. Anyways, 45 minutes. It was pretty dang chilly out there, but um, helped some lovely folks try and find an address. That's the second time in the last week that someone has stopped me while I've been walking. I guess I look friendly. Um, anyways, I can smell the chicken in the oven. Haven't added the rice yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I think because I have the time, I'm not sure that the rice is fully cooked yet. I might just cook rice in a separate, separate situation. Um, I will insert a clip here of what the meal looks like, but it is starting to get dark, so I'm gonna end the video um, while I'm all rosy cheeked and red. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments down below if you want me to film some more full days of eating while at home all the time, not going anywhere. Um, we also need to go grocery shopping within the next few days probably because we haven't been in over a week. Um, and I just like our fresh produce and fruits and stuff, you can't keep that stuff for much longer than that. So. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing. Stay safe, stay safe, stay healthy. Um, get outside, start and end your day with a walk or some fresh air if you can. Um, get up and get dressed in the morning. If you're working from home, it'll help you drink lots of water. And what was my other tip? Can't remember. Eat chocolate, just kidding. Okay, have a great day everyone and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.